all that car wiring looks super complicated? It's not. Once you see how they do it in the factory, it totally makes sense. First, a bundle of wires is routed into the cabin to connect to the fuse box under the driver's seat. Another bundle goes to the fuse box under the hood. Then there's a set for the left front of the engine bay. The ABS sensor wire is pulled through the wheel well before moving to the next set. Up front, the wiper motor wires and the washer fluid hose are installed. Then it's across to the passenger side, where an extra plug connects to the AC pressure sensor. The ABS speed sensor wire on that side is routed outside too. One wire going into the cabin from here will come in handy later. Once the dashboard's in, interior wiring starts. Both sides are similar, so let's follow the passenger side. The wires go up through the A pillar and are clipped into place. Two front plugs connect to the front camera and windshield heater. On the driver's side, there are connectors for the sunroof and front lights. Wires near the washer hose go to the vanity mirror lights. Now we head toward the back. The yellow plug is for the airbag sensor and the brown one is for a reading light. That bundle under the floor? It looks like chaos, but it'll be neat once the tech sorts it out. The main harness is clipped to the frame. The front passenger door plug goes into a preset hole. More wires head back. A bracket for the seat controller and airbag sensor is mounted. Then wires from the front connect to the dashboard harness. The rear door plug gets installed next to the seat belt warning connector. As you might have guessed, yellow plugs usually mean airbags. The antenna booster and signal filter are connected next. The rear harness is routed into the trunk. Keyless entry, GPS, and the radio all rely on this wiring. The left side tech also routes wires to the shifter and backseat charger. More trunk wiring follows. One wire goes to the oxygen sensor, waterproofing is installed too. If any clips are missed, you'll hear rattles later. The green plug in the back is for the main right tail light. Then come the plugs for the rear radar, rear screen antenna, and fuel door lock. Next. The third brake light and trunk lid wiring go in. The harness follows the trunk hinge. From left to right, the plugs go to the tail lights, license plate light, backup cam trunk lock, and right tail light. And there you go. This is how wiring is laid out in a factory mid-range car. Looks tricky, but it is actually pretty simple.